What you're going to do is you're going to use the link down below to head to this site here, phantom.com and you're going to download for Chrome. Phantom is basically just an extension for your browser that you can use to store your cryptocurrencies. When you add the Phantom extension to your browser, you're going to be met with a screen like this. All I need you to do is just create a wallet here. But one thing I want to make completely clear, keep your private key and your seed phrase safe. You do not want to share this with anyone. I will never ask for it. Just please never, ever, ever share your private key or your seed phrase. Someone can liquidate your account in milliseconds with your private key. So just, just be very careful. Read up on these right here. A quick overview now that you've signed up for Phantom on how to use it. So you'll click this extension icon on the top right corner of your screen, and then you'll click the Phantom button. This will open up your Phantom wallet. Here you can see I created a wallet just for this video. Now that we're set up with the Phantom wallet, we need to actually add funds into our wallet. How do we go about that? You do see here, there's a little buy button in your, in your Phantom wallet. I would not recommend using this button. You'll end up just paying your RS out in fees. So I just stay away from that button anyways. I'll show you where to buy Solana for cheap. What you need to do is you need to go down to the description down below and click the link for coinbase.com. This is just my personal favorite exchange to buy Solana. You can buy it here very, very cheap and you'll get way better prices than if you're buying on the Phantom wallet. Now that you've signed up for Coinbase and potentially bought some Solana, what you need to do is send your money to your Phantom wallet. To do this, you'll set up a trade using Coinbase and then they'll ask you for your wallet's public address. To find your wallet's public address, you'll open up the Phantom extension again and click receive. Here, you can click here to open up your QR code, which you can use Coinbase from your phone to send Solana to your account. Or you could just click this link here, which will copy your public address to your clipboard and you can paste that into Coinbase and send it to your account. Simple as. So now you've potentially added some money into your account. You're, you're ready to go. You're ready to start trading meme coins just straight from that Phantom wallet which I would not recommend doing because it does cost a lot more to, to buy tokens directly from your wallet than if you're using, say, a bot or a centralized exchange. Or, but sure, we'll get into that a little bit later on. Let me show you where these people are creating these coins and how they're creating these coins. And it's on a beautiful site called Pump.Fun. This is the worst. <laughs> Just look at the state of this site. Look at the amount of coins. These are all the coins that are being made currently. Look at the amount of coins that are being made. It's every millisecond so what are people doing to create coins all they have to do go on to pump.fun click start a new coin type in a name a ticker description add an image add a telegram website or twitter and then create coin that's it that's all people have to do and th this is why there are so many coins being made because it's there's no barrier so anyone can make a coin just to show you how this site works i'm going to show you how to buy a coin on here in case for some reason you have some something wrong with you and you want to use this i don't know like i love this peppa pig she's nice and attractive then all you need to do 0 0.1 0 0.5 one saw place trade boom that's it that's literally all it takes to buy a meme coin um now i would not recommend doing it here especially straight from your wallet once again you're going to be paying more in fees you're probably looking at this bonding curve here in front of you and you have no idea what it means and what's going on so let me just try to explain this as simply as possible originally when you press create token, there is a billion coins created. 800 million of them coins are placed into the bonding curve and they're available for the community to buy. It's the community's job to sell off these 800 million shares so that this token has enough liquidity built up inside of it to be placed on Radium. Radium is basically it's one of the sites that we all originally used to launch meme coins. So it costs around five Solana to launch a coin on this, which is why people use pumped up funds bonding curves to, to pay for the liquidity pool on Radium which is basically what's happening when this when these tokens graduate. You can look at currently trending meme coins on a site known as Dex Screener. I'll have this link down below. But I have a little bit of an issue with this site. So my problem is this site goes based on a boosting system. So if you see here, these tokens are all being boosted. This has 1,500 lightning bolts. This has 2,000. This has 600. This is a pay to win system. If you click into any coin, click on boost, you can see 10 boosts for $99. So usually you'll see if people are paying to boost and promote a coin on Dex Screener, I find if they're spending a lot of money on it, 90% of the time it's a scam. So just keep an eye out for this. Now, something else you'll hear related to Dex Screener a lot, which a lot of people are confused on and I get a lot of questions about, is when people say they've paid Dex for, for a coin. What the fuck does that mean? Let me just quickly show you. See up here on the top right hand corner, this, this coin has a picture, a website, and a Twitter link to it. That is literally all it means to pay Dex for a coin. 
you will come down here, claim your deck screener token profile, and I think it's between four hundred and five hundred dollars to uh to to pay for this deck screener token profile. So usually you'll find big streamers if they got in very early on a coin and their community has gotten in after them, just after migrating. Sometimes you'll find this big creator if he's made enough money to where he can just pay for the where he can just pay for the deck screener to have extra information. He'll just pay for it and then. Usually people see deck screener paid as a as a bullish sign and they'll buy into a coin. What do I recommend instead of the slot machine that you're seeing right here in front of you? What have I had on my screen for this whole video? So what I'm using is Axiom. Well, I mean, what pretty much everyone is using at this stage. You can clearly tell a difference in the UIs. Axiom has a Discover tab, Pulse, Trackers, Perpetuals, Yield, Portfolio and a Rewards tab. I'll give you a little look at each of the tabs here. So in the Discover tab, it basically just shows you what's trending on deck screener right now. Like, this is amazing compared to what's shown on Deck Screener. And if you remember from earlier on, I was showing you how pay to win that is and how they can pay to be at the top of the list. This here just takes all the data from Deck Screener, gets rid of all the pay to win aspects, and just shows you based on the performance how well it's doing on Deck Screener, which it, this is an invaluable tool to figure out what the current coins that are doing well are and even just to figure out what the best coin in the past five minutes is. Like, th there's no pay to win here, so it's, it's a win win compared to using a Deck Screener screen. Next up is the most important tab, which is your Pulse tab. If you've watched any videos on Bullex, Photon, GMGN, you'll know this tab. It'll, it's just it's just labeled a little bit differently. So in the Pulse tab, you have New Pairs, Final Stretch, and Migrated. So New Pairs is basically every single coin that's being made brand new is coming right here in this little live stream right here. So next to the new pairs, you have final stretch, which if you remember from earlier on, I explained the bonding curve on Pumped Up Fun. This is basically a column which shows you which coins from the new pairs are getting closest to reaching the top of that bonding curve. As you can see, it goes from highest market cap to lowest market cap. So the higher it is on this list, the closer it is to hitting its bonding curve. So the less time you have to get in before it migrates. Then next to that, we have the migrated tab, which as you can guess, is just the migrated coins. Now, Next to the Pulse tab is the Trackers tab, which is my absolute favourite tab. As you can see, I'm an avid wallet tracker. I have a lot of wallets put in here. Let me just scroll quickly down through my wallet manager. Yeah, as you can see, I have probably 200 plus wallets in here. I just, I love tracking wallets. I love finding what people are buying. I love using these people as signals to buy, signals to sell. It's just an amazing skill to have wallet tracking. What I'm willing to do... I'm willing to give out all of these wallets for free, but I need you to do something for me. When you sign up to Axiom, I need you to use my referral code. If you send me a picture of you using my referral code to sign up for Axiom, I will just, I'll just send you these wallets for free and you'll have access to all these wallets and you can track these all for free. Next, I'm going to show you probably my favorite tab. Honestly, I'm going to have to put this over trackers because it's literally free money. As you can see here, this 